George Harrison's dissatisfaction with his limited role within the Beatles' dynamic became apparent during the recording of Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. In his usual style, he would use humor to vent his disapproval with a touch of sarcasm. Harrison felt alienated and had a very minor role on the record due to the band's tumultuous relationship, creative conflicts, and drug usage. Only a northern song is the self-deprecating outcome of the quiet Beatles' decision to rely on his scouse humor rather than hurl blows. This song is Harrison's way of venting his frustrations with the music industry's business side, especially with the way he was treated financially and creatively as a songwriter. The title is a pun that alludes to the song's publication by Northern Songs and the fact that it was officially a Northern song. At the same time, it implies that the song was only written to fulfill contractual requirements and not as an artistic expression. But it wasn't only his band position that had irritated Harrison, the larger music industry politics had done the same. The guitarist's arrangement as a junior songwriter with the publishing business that would benefit more financially from any possible releases than he would was a major source of disillusionment and lack of inspiration for songwriting. An uncomfortable relationship emerged within the Harrison and Star camps due to the disparity in ownership between their 0.8% and John Lennon and Paul McCartney's 15% shares in Northern Songs. Therefore, Harrison established his own firm in 1964 and following the expiration of his contract with Northern in 1968, began publishing his stuff through Harris Songs. He discussed the song and the events that prompted the sloppy work as part of the Beatles anthology. In a jest, only a Northern song referred to Liverpool, the holy city in Northern England. Harrison had lost his hunger for creation as he became engrossed in the industry's commercial side. Because of this problem, the guitarist's thoughts kept returning to the idea of parasites feeding off his efforts. Only a Northern song did not make it onto Sgt. Pepper's, although it did end up on Yellow Submarine after all. Harrison felt the same way when he wrote the song, even though it had dull lyrics and an uninspiring overall presentation. Harrison could only describe his emotions through a mundane jumble at that moment. Only a Northern Song is nevertheless a fascinating and thought-provoking Beatles song, even though it's a bit lighthearted. George Harrison's increasing dissatisfaction with his function as songwriter inside the Beatles and the dynamics and conflicts within the band during their later years are both illuminated by it. Harrison, who was determined to terminate his contract with the publishing business at whatever cost, intentionally harmed his own career by releasing this song.